Hey Legends, today we're going to be reviewing Sneak Origins version B. Hello Legends, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Link and today we're reviewing Sneak Origins. We've got the shaker and the tub to have a look at. And sorry it's been a while in terms of Sneak, like the last limited edition drop I missed. And then when they did the grape flavour, I don't really like grapes, so there's no point in me reviewing that. I don't want you to think that me and Sneak have like parted ways. I still drink it regularly on my live streams over at twitch.tv slash link good and there's the plug. But yeah, so they they brought out a new flavour. They did the Origins thing, which I was a little bit salty at the time that I wasn't involved because they sent out A, B and C to try and I only got to try none of them. Yeah, so they sent out like a little packet. You got A, B and C and then... You could try them and then tell Sneak what your favourite one was. They've released B now as a flavour. So I was a bit salty. I didn't get to try it because it was supposed to be like Sneak's loyal customers. And I buy a lot of Sneak, as you guys know. Anyway, that aside, passes in the past. Here we go. I don't have anything good to unbox it. So I'm going to try and use a pen to get through the tape. It's worked quite well. And I'm a little bit late to this review. It came out, I think, a couple of weeks ago. But better late than never, right? Great packaging as always with Sneak. Do you want to see the shaker first or the tub first? I'm going to do the shaker first. So the Origins shaker is a clear shaker. It's supposedly from a new supplier that has a more rigid plastic. So it doesn't break. It's good. But look at that. That is so fresh. And for me, the clear shaker is a big improvement because it feels really rigid as well, like properly hard. The clear shaker is a big improvement for me because when I review them, I like to show you what colour it comes out as. So I used to have to put it in a glass, whereas this now is going to be my go-to shaker for reviewing energy drinks in the future. Love that thing, though. Look at that. It's all... This is pretty. It's got, obviously, the Sneak logo brand in there and then the bunny on the other side, which is hard to see because it's see-through. Just a white lid. And it has a translucent shaker. I quite like that because if it was this clear, it would probably never look clean again. So I think that's quite good. On to the tub. Okay, it came inside a box. Sneak likes to do this sort of stuff. So it's a Sneak Limited Edition Origins Version B, naturally flavoured. 400 milligrams in here. There's 40 servings. No sugar. It says filter here. It's just got some cool branding on it. Each side is basically the same. 150 milligrams of caffeine, like all your other sneaks. All your nutritional information is on the back. I'm guessing it comes in a box because it's a clear tub. Which might be a spoiler if you didn't know it's coming. Oh, that's so lit. <laughs> that's the coolest tub sneak I've done yet. It's clear. It's got, obviously, the your foil on the top. It's got a clear lid as well. That's definitely the best tub that sneak have done. And I know a lot of people reuse these tubs. This is the coolest one to reuse. Like this would make this would be a sick little sweets jar. That's probably what I'm going to end up using it for once I've had all the sneak. Although the limited edition flavors, I will be honest, I do kind of ration myself and they last me a long time. Like every limited edition flavor, I've still got some of it, apart from Blizzard. But I think because Blizzard's just Blizzard's the best. Right. So it's a rigid plastic. It's harder than. It's a lot more solid and than other ones. It's got that's a slightly different lid to what I've had before. I've never had one with a sneak bunny on the game and print. Um, I don't know if that's a new thing for this one or if it's just new to me because I haven't had sneak for a little bit. I say I haven't had sneak. I've got so many types of it because uh, because I review most like most new flavors and sneak drops like a flavor a month at times. It seems. I often buy like two tubs when I do a review because you get the free next day delivery. I didn't bother with this because I was a bit late to it anyway. And just before I try this, I just want to mention, if you've never tried Sneak before, there's a link in the comments and the description where you can try it out and help your boy link out. So you, it's a link to like a starter pack where you get like a bundle deal, which is cheaper to sort of a cheaper way to try it out. And then they give me like what's called Sneak Elite Points. So Sneak Elite Points is Sneak's like reward scheme where you basically, every time you buy Sneak, you get reward points. Every time you suggest people try Sneak and you like recommend them, 
you get sneak elite points as well. And I actually got twenty pound off this from my elite points just from you guys watching my videos. So that's absolutely lit. Thank you so much for your support. So yeah, if you haven't tried it, that's the way to go do it. it smells great, but I'm covered in powder. It's it's not <laughs> the label's not come off very nice and where it's see through. I kind of want it to look pretty. Is this me being too fussy again? I could probably tidy that up after I finish filming, can't I? It's not too bad now. So. Smell test. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before in terms of snake. Some of them have like a similar sort of flavour, like especially like the Generation millions -y stuff. Some of them have like a lolly sort of flavour i don't know what this is and i never got to try so just to be honest as well where i never got to try this as part of the origin sort of promotion where they sent out free flavors to like loyal customers where i was being a little bit salty i didn't really read what other people did like in the sneak community and stuff like the sneak forum on facebook and on um like some of the stuff on like reddit and discord and stuff i never really read what people's reviews of them were because i didn't get it i was being a bit salty about it so i didn't i didn't engage which is you know i took my ball and went home so i always recommend you have to sneak with about 500 ml of ice cold water so i'm gonna put that in the shaker i've made a mistake here because you'd normally pop your ice in first I've got my hand wet, which is always a mistake with sneak. You don't want to get your hand wet. I'm wondering if this has the little sachet that stops the water, like it getting wet. Because I can't see it, but I don't want to dig through it. It's a really cool scoop as well, just to put that out there. It's like a, a translucent scoop instead of the normal grey one. That's a lovely touch. That's a nice touch. So you want about a level scoop. We're going pink straight away. And it has been a long time. But cue them steel drums. <sighs> Look at that, it's very pink. It's not mixed the best. It would mix better with a little bit more water. It looks a little bit glittery. It's got a little bit of a blizzard vibe about it, and I love that straight away. How does it smell? It smells heavenly. Welcome to rhubarb and custard, it smells like. It smells like rhubarb and custard sweets you have when you're a kid. Here we go. It's so good. It tastes like the rhubarb custard sweets you have when you're a kid. You see the sneak logo brand and better now. It's got some sneak in. Same for the bunny. It tastes so good though. It's it's really good. It's got a really punchy, very artificial sort of rhubarb and custard sort of flavour. But wow, absolutely wow. <laughs> so good and i'm always happy i didn't get the samples because if i had the samples a couple of years ago and then i've not tried that i've not been able to have it since i would have been livid it's just so good it's genuinely so good it's absolutely incredible it's just such a sweet refreshing taste and for those of you that haven't used sneak before it's like a low calorie low no sugar way to get your caffeine for those of you like myself that don't drink coffee, and I love it. It's really good for gaming. I, I use it quite a lot when I do my live streams. <sighs> it's beautiful though. I'm actually going to give this a 9 out of 10. It isn't... It's magical, but it's not unbelievable. So it's definitely up there with the best flavours of Sneak. And if you haven't tried it, I urge you go give it a go. It's really good, but it just isn't life-changing. 
it's just good. But I'm happy with that. I'll take that all day. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate your support. It's been a long while since we reviewed Sneak, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Sneak videos from me in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss them coming up real soon. And hit the notification bell, because I generally buy Sneak when it first comes out. It's been a little while since I did that, but get them notifications on so you can be one of the first people there to get my opinion on it. Leave a comment down below of what you think of Origins version B. And let me know if you'd like to see Sneak do more stuff like this. I've quite enjoyed it. I didn't get involved in the whole free flavors to try process, which I'm still sad about, but I think Sneak does a lot of different like initiatives and programs and marketing and things, and their social media stuff is really lit. So it's one of the things I like about the brand, but I enjoyed it, so yeah. Go check out Orange and B. All there's left to say is that I've been Link, and you, yes, you have been one of my legends. Thank you so much for watching this. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.